Hello, welcome to Adventure Valley. So we've got a different video today. We're at the Birmingham NEC for the motorhome and caravan show. There's going to be over a thousand leisure vehicles on display, plus all the accessories. There's going to be talks going on, lots of other things happening. Let's go inside and have a look. The uh, shuttle bus. It's got a queue up. Caravan show just opened. First in. See, this show is absolutely massive, so I'm not going to be able to. Uh, get for everything on this video but I'm just gonna go through some stuff that catches the auto trial stand have a look at this one look beautiful mate round oh give us a beat the Grand Frontier at 131,000 this is the auto trial XL 620G it's on a Ford Transit um, chassis so we've got a rear bed Cooker sink, and then a nice little seat scenario here. It's a nice skylight on top. This is a nice one because it's got the uh, electric scooter in the back. It's the Expedition C73 Auto Trail on a Fiat chassis. Got the upper bed and the rear bed. Got your sink, cooker, and bathroom, shower. Lovely rear bed. Check out these Super Sucko scooters, electric scooters. Pretty cool if you've got a motor and you've got a bit of a garage space in the back, you can put one of these in. This is the Chosen, Chosen. I'll try you pronounce that stand. So is this an option then, this yeah. I think it's a French brand by the look of all the number plates, it's got the uh, F. They're nice looking bands actually. This is a nice one, isn't it? Nice van with the pop top. <laughs> 73,000 on the road. Nice one on the transit chassis. Just put look inside. A lovely bed at the back, proper full size, well, I wouldn't say full size bed, but a decent size bed. And you've got your shower here, and your toilet will be in there. Sink cooker, then you've got a nice little seating area. Automatic. This is the auto sleeper stand. This one just took my eye. Hundred and twenty five thousand on the side sprinter chassis. I love that interior. And then you got the back seating area. Cooker, sink. It's very nice, but it's not massive. For £125,000. hundred and twenty five thousand pound. It is very nice. When travelling in this one's on a Fiat Ducato chassis. Fiat cab. And then again, cooker, sink, and a nice rear seating area. It's quite a decent size. Got upper storage. Guess where you've got quite a lot of storage actually. You've got these covers all the way around. Let's have a seat for a sec, have a little bit of rest on the dealers now. Look at this one. It's a Kayat Techno Line. Very space. 18,000 on the road. Oh, this is nice. Got two beds at the back. Massive shower. 
It's on the Fiat chassis. A class motorhome. home. Seating area. This'll do for some adventures, wouldn't it? It'd be nice. Get a nice large garage area. Some motorbikes. So this one's a Melio. It's a nice looking van. 90,000 Melio 294. By Benny Marr. What chassis was it on? Oh, it's automatic. And it's on a Fiat chassis. Wow, it's weird design. You've got cooker, uh, sink, fridge, microwave, and then you kind of come round. Oh, it's like um, Jack and Jill entrances, like his and her entrances. And you've got the bathroom in the middle. I like the glass bowl, it's cool. Um, and the shower this side. And then you can you can kind of like shut that off there, have it separated. Okay, size so garbage, but uh, this seems a bit low to have a motorbike in there. Caravan Awards winning caravan. 2024. Very interesting looking. 37,995. It's a nice rent scene area. Big bed at the back. Oh, you got the sink in the bathroom. In the bathroom, sorry. In the bedroom. Cooker. Sink. Very interesting design. It's not very big. This is a Deera. You've got a small little Renault van. They popped up. It's got like the rock and roll bed. Cooker over there. Nice cab. Nice having the popped up roof. Especially if you can like utilize a bed up there. It makes it really useful. It's like a nice uh, motor home, nice A class Adira. Can't look inside, but uh, it's a peek for the door. buy and uh, have this one delivered straight away. It's pretty cool. Too many people need to have a look, but to the garage. It's my favourite stand, this Swift stand, because I love Contiki's, my favourite Swift Contiki's. This is a tag axle, this is one of the bigger ones. Oh, so many people in here, because I think they're like most people's favourites. I'll try and get inside one of them. 7.4 Contiki, look at the size of it. Absolutely beautiful. It's the Truma heater that's used in lots of these different motorhomes. It's the Swift Voyager 540. So you've got a rear bathroom. Shower. It's quite a nice shower actually, nice marble back to it, wood floor. Cooker, thing. Then you've got um, the seating area, table in the middle, and it's on a Ford chassis, automatic. This is a Swift Monza Transit with the uh, awning. Nice little setup. Room for the awning. Get your chairs all set up ready. This is a nice looking camper. Uh, nice tall ceiling with the pop roof, I could stand up. The Ford, obviously it's a Ford Transit, so you've got a Ford chassis. Um, got a, it looks like induction cooker. Actually, no. That's sink. Gas stove, sorry. Uh, you've got some plug sockets there. Cupboard units. Again, nice with the pop top. And you've got like a rock and roll bed. Bit of storage with the seats up. Sixty-seven thousand pound now, so a lot of money. The Monza on the transit chassis. Again, sixty-seven thousand. Similar, similar layout. It's a bit brighter interior in this one. Nice automatic. <laughs> with the um, pot roof. Looking, yeah, you can get a bed that fits on the um, pop top, which is really, really good. So you see, you can um, sleep four people. Five seat belt, sleep four. So, must attach up there somewhere. I just know it's got a diesel heater as well, which is really cool. I'd love to have that in Elliot at some point, a diesel heater. It's interesting, it's an Airstream. Oh, 
can't go inside a leap, it's very nice design. She's a proper iconic American caravans. I could just imagine one of these being towed behind a big pickup truck in the Nevada desert. <laughs> it's super cool. Oh. Feels plasticky actually, a bit like any of the motor. <laughs> Expected to be like tin. Okay, we have got a nice big lander over. It's a uh, sleeping unit on the top. Clothing goes from one p to two pounds, and you could be our next winner. Only at Tombola. Players must be over eighteen. Terms apply. Please play safely. I love these ones. I saw one of these at the um, the last event I went to, the Enduro. It's a Neishman Biscoff. By the sound of the name, I'm guessing it's German. Oh, I can't get into it. What a beautiful motor home. Oh, it's sold. Someone's had it. Someone's very lucky. Look at the size of it. Let's go into this one. It's a bit smaller than the other one. Oh, actually, no, it's uh, with assistant only. Well, actually, no, we're okay. We'll have a look. £172,000. So, this is another Neichmann Biscoff. So, you've got a seating area here. Oh, God, look at the size of the, um, the cockpit at the front. Massive. We've got a pull down bed, bathroom, rear, big rear bed. Um, by the size of like how high that bed is off the ground, I'm guaranteed there's going to be a decent garage under there. And then you got a sink and a uh, two burner hob. You've got your um, droplet that size garage. You will get a motorbike in there. And it's got the um, shower to wash your dirty shoes off or whatever you need to do. And I guess this is where the uh, yep, this is where the gas bottle will go for your cooker. For these. So classy. £172,000 just burst in the stand. At least the sales reps are all speaking German, so it looks like these are all coming from Germany. That one, isn't it? Lisa. Again, I'm not going to go into everything because there's so much here, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around until something really interesting sparks my interest. <laughs> this one for Laker. It's the winner of the um, Motorhome Awards. Italiano. It's a nice van. Seventy-six thousand. Someone in there. So I can't get in there. See, it's got like a rear, rear sort of seating area. Have a look now. Great. So, yeah, we've got a seating area here. Left hand drive, as I said, I think these have all come over uh, from Italy. Double burner, little bathroom, or wet room, I think you call these, don't you? And the back seating area. Back into that one. win this one.
<laughs> I'm getting some of the terms wrong when I'm walking around these uh, motorways and caravans. Obviously, I've only had Ellie since like May last year, so I haven't had it that long, and that's when I started getting into these camper vans, the caravans, and motorhomes and stuff, um, and camping. So I'm still learning the trade stand. Just scan down. Sure, clinic. <laughs> Come find us. Sofas. This for all your water sports. Oh, I'm definitely in that dancing. You are. Damn it. You're in it dancing. <laughs> These are all the awnings. This is something I want to get on the um, side of Ellie at some point. And this is the stand the most interesting in the Van Gogh. Because you've got the blow up awnings, air awnings. Which I think are really, really good. Something like that would be nice. sleeping area if I've got any like people come with me and then you've got like a nice um, place just to hang out and shelter obviously if it's raining. Inner tubes are all just blow up, they're all just filled with air, air tubes. I think it's a really great idea. I tend to off-grid or you know camp just out in the wild a lot of the time rather than campsites. So it depends how much you start to get, and obviously it's just taking up more room into the um, boot space of Ellie, which isn't much when I've got all my stuff with me. For this. Water tires are nice for a £10, 12 litre walk containers. This is one of these fold out bowls with the um, plugs in, which has been really handy because it's going to have a little sink in the back. All sorts here, really good section of stuff. Low watt kettles, we've got some solar panel units, we've got leisure, there's a bunch of setups. I'm going to next to your skeleton in the van, and I'm thinking about getting some solar panels on the roof for Lely. It would be really cool, wouldn't it? It's a good view of how the driveway awnings look with a uh, the van similar size to Ellie. They come straight into the van, leave the door open. Lock. Stage front caught in these awnings away. A windbreaker. That's awesome. Look at that. 25 pumps, pulls that thing up and it all folds up. That's what I said, I think air awning is the way to go. It's one of them three wheel scooters, MP300. Show just so big, I'm just like to lose track of where I've been and where I haven't seen. Um, kind of skipping past the caverns a bit because it's not really. My biggest interest, I prefer the motorhomes, uh, camper vans. But as I said, if I see any nice caravans that really take me interest, I'll have a quick look. There's a little Piaggio scooter in the back. 
what I love about these garage spaces, how you can just put a bike in the back. 2650 for that bike. Not too bad, is it for a brand new scooter? What is it? I think it's electric, isn't it? Yeah, electric. These are Weinsbergs. Seventy-six thousand. Nice garage space. This looks nice on the VW chassis. I'm going to look inside properly because it's uh, it's really busy. It's doing people, but you have a quick nose for the window. It's starting to get really busy now. Nice Piaggio 125 scooter. 2,800 brand new on the road. It's not too bad, is it? Looking caravan. Nice pattern on the side. Back end, that looks nice. Mexican sunset. Weird looking van. Very uh, square at the back. Massive pop top. Look in the car. Automatic. So these are more uh, camp fan size vans. The Westphalia. Back into the some of the um, van conversions. It's a nice looking one on the man chassis. Big bed in the back, kitchen area. Yeah, you've got no <laughs> really taller bed, but then you've got the nice garage space in the back. That bit pops out. Got an electric point. Posh one at Imperial. TM845. Nice garage space in the back. Shower. Plenty of storage. I'm curious to get into it, so I'm not going to be going into this one, but you can just look around the outside. Very nice. It's a coachman caravan. So, coachmen are quite posh. Make quite nice motor and vans. This is nice. Lovely scenery. It smells brand new. Got a sink, cooker. That's a nice little setup, isn't it? Two little beds into the back bathroom. In the bathroom, you've got a toilet and a shower. The caravan, you've got to tow it. Where if I have my motor home or camper vans, I just carry on walking forwards there into the cab and I drive away and I'm going home. Very nice how the coachman is. A lot of them are on the um, Mercedes chassis. Bailey. This is the Allura. Crooked nose. It's got a nice seating area, table. Which I see, and then got a back bed. A four burner cooker. You've got one like induction hub and then free gas. You got the bathroom in there. Eldest Prestige. Eldest Prestige on a proper motor own body. Nice big bed at the back. Bathroom. Um, four hobs. Nice big sink. What's up there? Peugeot cab, manual gearbox. And the massive A class motor rooms. Heimer. Deutsch. So you can make up a bedroom out of some of these garages and some of these motor rooms. Massive. This big Heimer 4x4 Sprinter. Massive. You go up to that bed at the right at the top there. Mercedes can't go anywhere with these things. You won't get stuck at the festivals with these. That price say £228,000. Caravan's retro. Like retro looking. Look in this one. It's a tree. So you come in, you've got your kitchen right at the front. 
Oh, it's quite low. Oh, no, it does higher up when you get to the pop top. It's very low getting in. You've got a seating area, which I'm guessing you probably sleep two single ways there, or I'm guessing that folds out into then to a double bed. It's pretty cool. You've got some plug sockets here, quick TV on there. If you have a quick look what's in here, I'm guessing bathroom. Yep, just a wet room. A bit of toilet. And your um, shower, I think, there pulls out from there. And you've got a sink. It's another make I haven't heard of before, Death Lifts. Death Lifts. <laughs> Not sure how you pronounce that. It's on the Citroen cab, quite nice. So a quick uh, zoom round there. Stand up, oh, that's nice. A classes are my favourite, I love the A classes. They are very big. If you ordered it in an A class, it will look exactly like that. Nice garage space. Swift has progress over the years, 60s, 70s, 90s. Thousand, tens. This is the present day. So this is the Swift's cooking stand. Lindsay from um, the Roman Radford will be cooking here later on. I'll try and catch a little bit of it. Panel van. Adria. <laughs> this guy's doing a barbecue. <laughs> barbecue sells um, some cooking. Front end of Diego. And it demonstrates how you can use them as tow cars. Although I do have a new bumper for my car. Tesla. It's got two rows of seats. <laughs> Screen window. It's in Steve from the Rowan Radford. It's like a big inspiration for me to start my YouTube channel. <laughs> Off in the north of Morocco, 
Casablanca, the first big city that stopped up was Casablanca. And Casablanca is an interesting city if you're doing business. There isn't a lot there if you're going for tourism reasons. There's a massive mosque, it used to be the biggest in the world, but now it's relegated to seven, so you don't even have to do it for that reason. But it's very beautiful. But there isn't a lot more there if you're going for tourist reasons. So if you're on a, a tight schedule, Skip it and maybe go to Mar uh, Marrakesh or Fez instead. What was Fez like? I preferred Marrakesh. It's funny because it can go one way or the other with that. I think. Yeah. I don't think there was any particular reason. I think maybe we were just. So was Marrakesh. It, it felt more enclosed and moored up. It felt even more like Indiana Jones, but maybe without the fun size of the inside of Indiana Jones. Um, so we'd been to Casablanca, yeah. and it was Throne Day the following day, which was the, it's the anniversary of the accession of the king. Oh, and um, he, it was, it was a national holiday, so we were looking for somewhere to park on the beach, and we couldn't find anywhere, and we kept driving and driving, and it kept darker and darker. And as we're getting older and older, we don't like driving in the dark, we find it a little bit difficult. Um, but it was really the dark, because we were coming out of Casablanca, um, there were no street lights on the road that we'd taken, and all of a sudden we saw something glow in our lights. It was like a beacon. It was just another motorhome. But you know when you see motorhomes, you know safety numbers. So we pulled over there, completely picked back. The next morning we woke up, and we were on the edge of a little village. A small, small town. I don't know, on the edge of something. And there was a market going up the main road. But behind us was a great big sand dune. And when you went over the sand dune, you were on the beach. So it was fantastic. We decided to spend the day on the beach. Wow. We have no agenda. We don't book. We don't pre book. Um, and we'd uh, taken a little gazebo and some tables and some chairs. And the family next to us had had a tagine delivered. And it smelled and looked really good. Were they were They were, yes. And we decided, we were talking amongst ourselves, it must have had a little bit of English, or it must have been the dribbling or something they saw, and they yeah. reacted to our body language more than And <laughs> the pointing English. and the going over and tasting that the gene. Yes. Got that in. Yeah. Um, shall they chop all this before we start cooking or start? Yeah, chop it all. Yeah, get yourself always when you're doing this. Get yourself an uh, eye line that recipe. And um, that, that one's kind of visual. Things kept failing, things like the air conditioning. Um, it's only actually rated to work up to about 40 degrees, maybe 43. Once it got past that, it really struggled. So, I mean, we're kind of known for finding campsites and pools, and that's why. <laughs> I love that picture of you. You actually had longer hair in that picture. Yeah. I had a quick look last night. I thought, yeah, I need to have a look. There you are, lounging in the pool. <laughs> With a book. Oh, oh, this summer, next no. summer, this and the lint is cooked. Okay. Delicious Reno. It was absolutely amazing getting to meet the Roman Rutherfords. Um, as I said, they're a big, big inspiration for me to start my channel, so it's so good to meet the second part of the show. This is a park home. Look at this F450. 
been tour Canada in it. Love it. You see. You got the pop top side. Massive awning. Super nice Vico. That's big entrance to it. Rear kitchen. Like to bump into Mr. Wig. It's the most Mr. Wig's videos. He seems to be everywhere I'm going. Massive. Big double. It's like the size of a house. Look at the size of this. That's like your yes, static caravan. Really cool. The hobby vans. So you've got van conversions, you've got your standard motor frames. Let's have a quick look at this one. Ducato. Peek for the rear. There's someone in it, I know there is, but. So you've got a bed at the back. Nice bit of storage space, Citroen one. Nice back to it. Satellite dish on top of that one. Let's have a quick look at the cab. So you've got a seating area. And you've got the bed at the back. TV there. The inspiration theatre. There's nothing on there at the moment. This show is absolutely huge. You think you've done it and then you find another hall just like the same again. Same amount of stuff again. Absolutely amount of seat near the back of this uh, bank conversion. Auto Quest 69,000. So you've got the sink, cook unit. You've got a nice sitting area here. It's on a Fiat cab, nice high roof. But nice, you see a couple of people at the back there. And uh, I guess this folds out to a bed somehow as well. Nice Euro Mobile, A class. Right. I'll put it to the window. I'll put it to the window. Just you know, love the big cabs on these, these A class. The big boys, the uh, Morello, the light of logo. Ah, look at that one. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Proper coach. Proper coaches. Something like that, it's over half a million pounds. Incredible. Interesting windows in the back of this one. The round circle windows. Satellite dishes moving their own for Wi Fi. Brake went nice Mercedes. A plus. Big one. Two bikes in the garage. Really interesting vans. The Joa Camps. Sort of more of a basic sort of setups. Try and get the back one if I can. Bed at the back and then back room. Wet room. Sitting there with the captain's chair. Comes around. Citroen cab. Dealers of this company, I don't know if it's dealers or actually the manufacturers, they're coming from, they sound like got German accents, but um, they complain about the actual strike work on this, how random that is and how they don't like it. This is a wig, a wing gun. Quite interesting. Globe car. It's a 
van conversion. Got the uh, captain chair spin round. Got a cooker. And you got a bed, sleep two people. Fridge. Pop top. These are nice looking vans. Square black tank windows. Mans. Let's see if we can get round to them. Dutch and cooker, got soap at the back, on the man cab, plenty of storage. It's a nice looking van, I'm surprised not any more VWs this show, but I think I've just found them all. <laughs> these VW transports. I said there's usually loads of these everywhere you go, and here they are. <laughs> so you've got a rock and roll bed in that one, kitchen unit on the side, some manual gearbox. The uh, pop top. It's got a toilet in the back. It's got the cooker and the sink in one. <coughs> that folds out to a single bed there. It's always good to see. Even though I think these VWs are seriously, well, they actually are seriously overpriced for a VW van. £72,000. But a similar size to Ellie, so I can actually see what I could actually fit in Ellie if I ever wanted to do a conversion. It's a neat looking van, isn't it? It's got like the fixed hard top. Fold it to heaven inside. And the bed comes across into the driver's seat. You've got the fridge and um, stove at the back. Good high ceiling with plenty of storage. These are all the power units. So. Transit platforms, you've got a bit more room in this one compared to the VW van. So, you've got a decent sized bed, cooking over there, your fridge. Looks like it's in the wall. Then you get your transit uh, dash. So, you've got a real room to walk around. 67,000. It does have the popped up on it. Which is one of the main converters for your VW. Campers have been doing it for years. Um, so this would be all like proper professionally done, but 82,000. Yeah. Yeah. little caravan, 15,000 pound. It's enough if you're uh, if you're on your own or a couple. About the same size as a camper van, really, isn't it? Don't show the pop-tops. Put it back down. Guys, all the hard work. Stands out. Got a green one. Seventy-four thousand. Just putting the bed down. And the uh, popped up. Well, they put it up actually. A convertible now. <laughs> The Camp Van Awards winner. Nice leather seat. I'm not going to go into my VW ramp, but as I said, I still think they are overpriced for what they are. They're um, for a basic van like that, and you know, they're 70, 80 odd thousand pounds. So big. I can't remember what I've seen or what I haven't seen now. <laughs> it's like the leaves crack. These are all like the trade stands. Stand with the old fuel pumps. Go pod, micro go pod. Some hot tubs. Which remind me of wash machines. It's the doors on them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
get both sides of these. Yeah, it's like a big washing machine or accessories. These are cool, these are like fridges, V-Vans. Mine is 11 now. All these um, awnings, driveway awnings. Some of them are massive. Really big. <laughs> Inflatable as well again. These are loads of things. Nine thousand pound for that one. Well, that's what he's got. He's got a gun, the bigger one. Six hundred and forty-nine. Go straight into your van. And he's all got like a tent there. It's a great idea. Paris. Hold it on the top, okay? Now with the other blade, we put a potato through like this side. When we put a potato through like this side, we got perfectly cut chips. Every carry into side. the motor trains. Folding campers over there. Start as like trailers. And then turn up into the, the full camper units. EcoFlow fridge. And then you've got your uh, power stations. So this is definitely what we want to get for next year for the van. Power station. Spot this one. My rider bikes, fold up bikes. Man is sold. Pop top. Blue one. Six to four thousand pound. It's cool, it's like lifted, it's like jacked up. Like the off road wheels. Sold again. <laughs> Based on the is it traffic, I think the Renault is quite a decent size. Interesting back from the back of this Ducato van. Yeah, toilet. But it's east empty straight out the back. These Renault vans are quite nice. Again, this one's been sold. Oh, it's a weird set though. So you got the single bed there. Let's see what's going on behind here. Oh, I think it's just because oh, it's like a um, like a shade cover because you got toilet back here. I'd say it look weird with that the um, the shade up there. Fifty-seven thousand. This is your air suspension. So if you're um, different terrain, you can level it out. Or if you're going onto a ferry, you can like lower the one end so it makes it easier to get up and down onto the ferries. This is like leveling arms. Electric. Swift Ducato van here, 75,000. I think the Swift stuff's like really nice, really nicely done. Um, get you quicker there, come back, you've got your bathroom. And then you've got two fold out beds either side with like plenty of storage. I think you can tell like proper built ones by these sort of companies like Swift. It's very nice. You got a nice skylight. But as I said, that's why I said the VWs are overpriced really, because like this, you can have this for about the same price as one of the VW vans. You just got a lot more room. Little control units. That's the end very of the um, Caravan and Motor Home Show. It is a Sunday and it's the final day. So I'm now heading home. Turn the cars in the car park. It's changing now, it's trying to find the car. I was lucky. And well, not lucky, but I thought of uh, the best thing to do was to take a picture before I come out. So that is what I've done. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I am in N3. Oh, just no, it's Civic. Sorry. Sidetracked. Got a bit of N3. shows, like shows itself. <laughs> the amount of nice vehicles that you find. 
find N3. So Bug is parked somewhere in this car park. And I know I was in line with the exit. So I should be around here and somewhere. Bug on his own. His neighbours are gone. The show now. What an amazing show for £12.50. Can you believe it? It's one of the biggest shows I think I've ever been to at the NEC. It's like basically over every hall at the NEC. It's absolutely massive. Thousands and thousands of things, motorhomes and other things to do and see. Absolutely incredible show. £12.50 and free parking as well. Uh, we'll definitely be back next year and I recommend you come as well. Please subscribe to Adventure Valley for more adventures coming up.